Okay, so we're on page 160 to 163 in the World Wars. And this is about life in occupied territories. So like all empire builders, the Axis powers sought to exploit the resources and the people of the countries they conquered. As the war began to turn against them, they did so with increasing ruthlessness. In every conquered country, food and raw materials were taken at will. In Europe, the Nazis confiscated art and luxury goods, either for their own private collections or to fill the shops at home. Road signs were written in German, even in Russia, which didn't even share the same alphabet. Nazi propaganda in radio, cinema, and street posters became an inescapable part of life. The Nazis believed the people they conquered in the East were racially inferior. In Poland and parts of Russia, children with blonde hair and so-called Aryan looks were taken away, away to be brought up in Germany. Russians, who were regarded as little better than animals, were treated especially badly. They were addressed by a number rather than by a name and made to wear that number on their clothes. <laughs> Much worse was to follow. For example, when Soviet soldiers liberated the village of Parichi near Bobruskusk, they they uncovered the bodies of children bled dry to provide blood transfusions to wounded German officers at a field hospital. Oh my goodness. Hundreds of thousands of people in Eastern Europe and Russia were transported to Germany to work in armaments factories. Picked at random from towns and villages, they were whipped into cattle wagons or freight cars. If they survived the journey, they faced 18 hour days manufacturing tanks, aircraft, or machine guns for country, companies such as Dimer Benz, Krupp, or Siemens. Simons? Not sure. Japanese control. In the first six months of the war, Japan occupied over a million square miles of territory with a population of over 150 million people. Unprepared for such staggering success, the Japanese relied on bullying and intimidation to control the new subject peoples. Everyone was ordered to bow to Japanese soldiers and officials, those who do not risk anything from a slap in the face to decapitation. That's where your head is cut off. The Japanese language was taught in schools and even the year was changed to fit in with the Japanese calendar. Instead, um, which made it 2602 instead of 1942. Not everyone resented their new masters. There were many who cooperated with the Nazis either for their own selfish reasons or because they shared their anti-Semitic ideas. In most of the conquered nations, they helped round up local Jews. The SS recruited over 300,000 young men who were considered sufficiently Aryan to join them. In France, an auxiliary police force, the Millis worked with the Germans to suppress the French resistance. And here's a picture of Paris during the German occupation from 1941 to 1944. This cafe, La Place Blanche, was reserved exclusively for the use of German soldiers. <clears throat> okay, and then we're going to shift into the Battle of the Atlantic in our next short video.